Yovalim Jubilees 15. And in the fifth year of the fourth week of this Jubilee, in the third month, in the middle of the month, Avram celebrated the feast of the first fruits of the grain harvest, and he offered new offerings on the altar, the first fruits of the produce unto Yahuwah, a heifer and a goat and a sheep on the altar as a burnt sacrifice unto Yahuwah, their fruit offerings and their drink offerings. He offered upon the altar with frankincense. And Yahuwah appeared to Avram and said unto him, I am El Shaddai, walk before me and be perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and you, and I will multiply you exceedingly. And Avram fell on his face, and Elohim talked with him and said, Behold, my ordinance is with you, and you shall be the father of many nations. Neither shall your name any more be called Avram, but your name from henceforth, even forever, shall be Avraham. For the father of many nations have I made you, and I will make you very great, and I will make you into nations, and kings shall come forth from you. And I shall establish my covenant between me and you and your seed after you throughout your generations for an eternal covenant so that I may be an Elohim unto you and to your seed after you and unto the land where you have been a sojourner, the land of Canaan, that you may possess it forever and I will be their Elohim. And Yahuwah said unto Abraham, And as for you, do you guard my covenant, you and your seed after you, and circumcise ye every male among you, and circumcise your foreskins, and it shall be a sign of an eternal covenant between me and you. And the child on the eighth day ye shall circumcise, every male throughout your generations, he that is born in the house, or whom ye have bought with money from any stranger, whom ye have acquired who is not of your seed. He that is born in your house shall surely be circumcised, and those whom you have bought with money shall be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for an eternal ordinance, and the uncircumcised male who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin on the eighth day, that soul shall be cut off from his people, for he has broken my covenant. And Elohim said unto Abraham, As for Sarai, your woman, her name shall no more be called Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. And I will bless her, and give you a son by her, and I will bless him, and he shall become a nation, and kings of nations shall proceed from him. And Abraham fell on his face and rejoiced and said in his heart, Shall a son be born to him that is a hundred years old, and shall Sarah, who is ninety years old, bring forth? And Abraham said unto Elohim, O oh, that Yishmael, might live before you. And Elohim said, Yea, and Sarah also shall bear you a son. And you shall call his name Yitzhak, and I will establish my covenant with him. An everlasting covenant, and for his seed after him. And as for Yishmael, also have I heard you, and behold, I will bless him, and make him great and multiply him exceedingly, and he shall beget twelve princes, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Yitshak, whom Sarah shall bear to you in these days 
in the next year. And he left off speaking with him. And Elohim went up from Avraham. And Avraham did according as Elohim had said unto him. And he took Yishmael his son, and all that were born in his house, and whom he had bought with his money, every male in his house, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin. And on the selfsame day was Avraham circumcised, and all the men of his house, and all those whom he had bought with money from the children of the stranger, were circumcised with him. This Torah is for all the generations forever, and there is no circumcision of the days, and no omission of one day out of the eight days, for it is an eternal ordinance ordained and written on the heavenly tablets. And everyone that is born, the flesh of whose foreskin is not circumcised on the eighth day, belongs not to the children of the covenant which Yahuwah made with Avraham, but to the children of destruction. Nor is there, moreover, any sign on him that he is Yahuwah's, but he is destined to be destroyed and shall slain from the earth, rather, and slain from the earth, and to be rooted out of the earth. For he has broken the covenant of Yahuwah Eloheinu, for all the angels of the presence and all the angels of sanctification have been so created from the day of their creation and before the angels of the presence and the angels of sanctification he has sanctified Yahshara'el that they should be with him and with his holy angels. And do you command the children of Yahshara'el and let them observe the sign of this covenant for their generations as an eternal ordinance, and they will not be rooted out of the land. For the command is ordained for a covenant that they should observe it forever among all the children of Yashara'el. For Ishmael and his sons and his brothers and Esau, Yahuwah did not cause to approach him, and he chose them not because they are children of Avraham, because he knew them. But he chose Yashara'el to be his people. And he sanctified it and gathered it from amongst all the children of men. For there are many nations and many peoples, and all are his. And over all has he placed Ruchat in authority to lead them astray from him. But over Yashara'el, he did not appoint any angel or Ruach for he alone is their ruler, and he will guard them and require them at the hand of his angels and his ruachot, and at the hand of all his powers, in order that he may guard them and bless them, and that they may be his and he may be theirs from henceforth forever. And now I announce unto you that the children of Yashara'el Will I rather will not guard true to this ordinance, and they will not circumcise their sons according to all this Torah. For in the flesh of their circumcision they will omit this circumcision of their sons, and all of them, sons of Belial, rather Belial, will leave their sons uncircumcised as they were born. And there will be great wrath from Yahuwah against the children of Yashara'el, because they have forsaken his covenant and turned aside from his word, and provoked and blasphemed, inasmuch as they do not observe the ordinance of this Torah, for they have treated their members like the other nations, so that they may be removed and rooted out of the land. And there will no more be pardon or forgiveness unto them, so that there should be forgiveness and pardon for all the sin of this eternal error.